Here is Bolter. And that was a kick that needed to be perfect. You can see Andy McGrath lipping off the bottom of your screen. We'll check in with X on that shortly. Bolton chips it over the top. Look at Cox get back. Played it beautifully, the young big man. Laverty. Awkward kick to handle. Charles just taking this opportunity with both hands at the moment. Dusty one on one. That is every defender's nightmare. Dustin Martin in the meantime directly in front. This will be his sixth disposal already. He loves a big stage more than just about anyone and he slides it home. So this is the potential McGray injury. It happened about six minutes ago, so it took a while for him to get off the ground, but you can see there. The slipperiness. There was a period of time where West Coast were spraying an anti dew onto the ground, so it does get a bit slippery on these perfect days over here in the West. It does get a bit slippery after a while. Grimes got ambitious through the middle. Parrish, the intercept, and now a chance for the Bombers. Hooker back to Parrish, and then on the left, it's well weighted. It's perfect. Now it's up to Ham. He's kicked it well. He's kicked it well enough. They're away in the West. Only three of the best and fairest in the top ten last year haven't missed. Broad, little one over the top, cleanly taken by Collier Dawkins to Vloston, through the middle to Edwards, and again the Tigers start to move. That ball, again. That's perfect. Straight over the umpire's hat. I can't remember kick Richmond going down the line, line long to a contest once tonight, so this would just about be the first time. Chance out the back, Phillips. Castagna read it well. And then to a dangerous spot is Revolt. Chess mark here. Opportunity for one late in the first. No problems for Jack. Tigers have got four. Richo, a few of those names, Archie Perkins, you think of Alec Waterman, Harry Jones, it's really their first massive occasion, isn't it? And sometimes can be a little bit overroaring there. In the hands of Stringer, now nice step. Sol Bloston, away from the ball. Can they get a mark? Hooker, second attempt. Really well done. Diving effort. Really strong, as you said, the marking area. Hooker leans back and he's got... An important goal for the Bombers. Prestia oh, yeah, stops Stand abruptly, down. happy just to slow down for the moment. Picks off Broad in the middle, who goes, and Stringer just gets a hand to him, but he gets the kick away. Chole, Coleman Jones, a fumble, but he might have reeled it in. No. I'm not potentially, I think there was. <laughs> the result is Coleman Jones kicks his second. Tigers got five and lead by 20. Umpire said not 15. Tigers everywhere. These work it again down the line. This time Castagna took a mark on the other side of the ground about 60 seconds ago. Similar spot. Hooley receives it and gives it over the top with that long handball. Graham happy to give it back towards Hooley. Little kick soft and gentle and onto the chest of Reba. Martin's just at the top of the goal square. He's got Heppel and Francis. Double teaming him. Meanwhile, Rebolt doesn't get too much better than that. Jack's got a couple. Half a dozen for Richmond. Come on, stand, stand. Play on. Now it's Zaharakis with the benefit of the 50 just driving the bombers forward. Chance for Phillips to narrow this margin. So, well done, Andrew Phillips. Identified, hey, I've got a bit of height here on Marlon Pickett. I've got to get forward and take a mark. Third club, second year with the Bombers. 18 goals in his career, all singles. It's a long ball. His first. Chole's been outstanding now. This is Nick Cox who comes off the wing into the centre bounce. Chole slaps it down. Dusty 
cleverly hacked it forward. Collier Dawkins got through with ease. Here's Cochin. Yeah. What can he perform? With Castagna flying. Good enough to win his own ground ball. Nice tackle, Darcy Parrish. Still some pressure back there. Oh, Marlon Pickett's tackle. Laverto was superb. Caddy steps around. Could have kicked the goal himself. Ricochet's back. Caddy will get a second chance at it. Snaps it over his head. And Caddy goals. Lost it. Has a look at Martin. Just waits for him to pick it up. But there was bombers around the place. Made it pretty tricky. And then Guelphy. He's got a bit to do. Got rid of the football just in time. Cochin. Through traffic again, lost the football. Merritt did well. Hurricane. Now the handball over the top to Perkins. Perkins drives the ball forward again. Chol watches it go over the head. Waterman ends up with a look at goal. From what we've seen this year, pretty reliable normally. Splits the middle. Chance for Arts just gives him a little bit of shelter and Shepherd, and then McIntosh receives the handball. On the left to Hawley, he's had time to just clean up his fumble. Edwards tries to work it on, does pretty well in the end. Arts on his left, finds short. That little kick of his might come unstuck. No bounces into the hands of Caddy. Off it goes to Cochin. Cochin does the 360 back towards Chol. Three Tigers there. Nothing doing in the air. Knocked to ground. Hine watches on. Heppel gets desperate. Play on. Somehow Arts over the top to Graham. Graham's little kick works it through. Richmond. It took a while, it took plenty. They got it in the end. Scamper away to a big victory. Can they do the same tonight? They've lost the last 10 against the Tigers. Perkins took it cleanly. Waterman played for the free kick. Grimes somehow got the handball away and then got crutched. Here's a chance for Parrish. Feeds the handball. Ham has one, looks for a second. That's the one they needed. hope that's not too serious on Andy McGrath out of the game in that first quarter with a knee injury Caddy little handball only as far as Merritt in the furnace gave it off to Ham who gave it to McDonald Tip and Woody who backs himself for speed Baker closed him down might get it back McDonald Tip and Woody Zaharakis ends up with a football not the 15 the call Ham's got two desperate for three and they've got back-to-back -back goals for the first time tonight Parrish, disposal number 26, Redmond, Perkins, a slow start to the night, starting to get involved, handballs to Langford, couldn't take it cleanly, Castagna gave it off, Caddy puts it to a bit of space, Collier Dawkins, bit of a high up and under, Coleman Jones asked to do a bit, Bolton, for him it's Shelling Pease, must have misheard, on one way, then the other, then to... The way he thought initially, Guelphy had it for a long time, then just gave it up at a crucial moment. Caddy to Edwards, to a dangerous sort of a spot, and in dangerous hands, Castagna gets another. The Tigers have got 10, and they're back out to 26 points. The talented Jordan Rid Ridley, Langford. Happy to play on quickly towards half forward where McDonald tip and Woody waits. Bolter takes him on and does well. Low ball, Pickett knocked it down. Martin happy just to go and get it. Gives it off to Graham. Graham over the top. He goes towards Bolton. Bolton to Graham to goal. That was terrific. Where was Brad Hardy playing when he won his? Yeah, back for 80. Yeah. Defense, yeah. 85, Brad Hardy. Parrish. So he's Pushed it towards Guelph. He was clever in the end. Didn't want to take it. Langford bullets the ball towards half forward. This time, Stringer had another opportunity. Couldn't quite complete the deal. Hooker had it sent in his direction quickly. Now, Stringer can the package deliver. That half forward looks for home. Kicks it long. Crowd will let you know. Push out, please. You. Dumps it down the line. Fisted away, Stewart's a dangerous position here now. The skipper Cochin, Bolton's a chance. This man loves the big stage. Dusty can break your heart in a second. <laughs> Langford, can they get through? Waterman, a lot of numbers around it. That was a clever little backheel over the top. 
advantage has been paid. Heppel takes it short. Darcy Parrish, mentioned before, he's had a huge amount of the footy. The kick, the hook, there's a ripper in the goal square. This is the start Bomber fans want. It's a free kick with a ball. This for Essendon for a clench fist. It's wow. a clench fist for Essendon. 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 This is a huge moment. Come on, your, your free kick. Kyle Hooker. Kyle Hooker's footy. Free kick. It's a prohibited contact off the ball. This will be huge. Long run up. He's struck it well. He's got three hooker. Merritt looks about the place, knows he's lost the ball, tried to make sure the umpire saw that. Parrish, how quick were his hands? Ridley hurriedly goes forward, bouncing ball, hooker, gains about 30 metres. The foot race is on, off a couple of hands. McDonald, Tip and Woody, listen to the crowd roar, just dances inside, gives the ball off. It's just settled into the hands of Langford. How does Langford deal with the moment? He handles the occasion. Bombers have got three in a row, and we've got a three-point ball game. And that man there is the king of the West, John Westfold. No one revered more than the two-time premiership player, the premiership coach of the West Coast Eagles. Everyone who's anyone's in the house tonight, this game deserves this sort of finish. Here comes Hyde. Brilliant chase, Graham. Did well to get it to Merritt. Long bomb to the square. Jones in front. Waterman runs in, and the Bombers have got four in a row. Waterman's got a couple. Jaden Short has just the required journey to Cameron McIntosh. He pumps it down the line. Rewalt's the target. Ridley from the side. Arts. He'll feel like he owes them one. Clever little kick. Just the required distance to Castagna. He's one of only three Tigers to have played every game in the last two years. Castagna gives the Tigers a lead back. Last man is Ridley. Long speculative kick. Flosten's the man they have to worry about. Takes it cleanly. They called to play on. There's a couple of little short targets that he had on offer. Rewalt in front. Francis did pretty well. We know how clever he is. Not 15. Bolt. Beautiful sidestep. Shea Bolt goals. He's got a couple. Zaharakis with his jacket on. McGrath out early in the opening term. Parrish has been monumental. Ah, it's a little gift to Pickett. One of the two ins. Edwards, I mean, to one of the two ins with Pickett tonight. And Martin at full stretch. If you kick a goal here, it's three goals needed. Happy to play on, hits it from 52. It's long, it's straight, it's very dusty. When the moment arrives, he steps up. Can't hear you. It's just so loud out there. Look at the natural leap of Shea Bolton. Well, there's been a muck up. The Tigers can score again. Rewalt, well tackled. Graham's pickup was superb. He's a strong Play unit. On. Stood up in the tackle. Back to Bolton. Look at the move. Look at the spin. Shea Bolt. What a freak. Oh, come on. Really just out of time. They need to press go. Presti is the player that's been subbed out, guys. Dion Presti is now in the back row. Thanks, Xavier. Rioli comes onto the ground. Hooker flew. Pickett did well. Up and around the corner, the bolt who gets away from Langford and then a long ball forward. And that's just a little icing on a dream time cake. Well, it's fair to say dream time in Perth has been a success. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt about that. It's been something to behold. This will be nice for Daniel Rioli, the medical sub. Sex mentioned came on for Prestia. Redmond, last line of defence. Over there to Nick Cox, Marlon Pickett stepped around. Can he get past Guelph as well? Fires the handle into the corridor. Rioli wants a piece of it. And there is a nice touch. Daniel Rioli activated and goal. Still Baker. Over the top he goes. Bolter. His one ends up with hookup. The siren sounds. And the Tigers make it 11 in a row for the second time in their history over the Bombers. Tiger